do you want some gloves so you don't get all... I did grab them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I know you don't do it too much. I did order a drain plug kit, but I'm not sure if it's going to be here in time, so we'll see. I may just be putting it back together like this. Yeah, that's good. Took all the bolts out, um, except for like the, like the kind of a U shape around the back here. Left like one bolt on either end and then all the ones on the back. And then uh, eventually just the weight of the oil broke the gasket by itself, but you could have cracked it with a screwdriver too. And then I've just been uh, slowly working these bolts here uh, to get you know, tilt out of that corner and drain as much as possible. Got the pan over there. Just letting it drip down. Got the T20 driver out and ready to take those two two screws that hold the filter in. Guess I can drag the pan out and wait for that to drip a little more. Get that cleaned up. See how much sludge is in the pan. I put my gloves on and do that. Now, actually, I'll take a look. See here, real quick. First here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely got some stalagmites there. Got some Lucas in the pan. Pan otherwise looks pretty clean. We got a little bit of junk in there. That's a fair amount of metal on there, though. Hmm. Oh, well. Alright. That was successful. That was the only issue. Change out the filter, and it's uh, working like a champ now. So, there you see our drain plug right there. Um, this, by the way, if you want to do the complete flush, this is the return line. So, the pump outlet is right there and they go through the cooler and back to the transmission here so I disconnected that I had to put a little piece of flexible hose in it to get it down to my drain bucket and then uh, had uh, got the truck started and uh, just put it in neutral just for a second flush that out until we saw a nice clean red fluid out of there that's after you've refilled it with new fluid and then I uh, just cinched it back up and uh, yeah, truck's working great. And now we got a drain plug for future service. And uh, man, I'm glad that was the only problem. So uh, we're gonna call that one a success, boys. To service this fault, refer to the Turbo Encabulator Diagnostic Procedures Manual and Songbook and perform test TE10. If it is above 10 RGs, replace the unit. If it is below 10 RGs, you will be directed to perform a series of tests that will effectively raise the billable hours for the service department, but will perform no other useful function.